All right, welcome to week two, game three. Are you starting, Richard? Yes, we are. As soon as we come right back. Stick around. Okay, we're back, and this is John from Bud Shooters pitching now. That was a good shoe. I don't know why that didn't stick around. It's probably a little too forceful. There we go. And then we got Bobby C. waiting in the wings here. Bobby C. and Dan won the uh, first match. With Dan pulling out a uh, six-pack at the end. Coming back from, uh, I think it was 20 to 15. That was an exciting game. Check out uh, game one, week week two. Bud shooters are getting two points for a handicap. And they pull ahead in an extra three. On the left-hand side, pitching for Bud Shooters is Mike. He got substantially better uh, over the year compared to what he was doing last year. He was he was a good good pitcher, but uh, he came out right uh, right this year, pitching pretty good, very competitive. You can see in uh, game one, gave Bobby C. Uh, Quite a handful. Pitching a lot of ringers, those two. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get the top ringers and grab a point. Get on the board here. Yep. Top ringers, one Rick. Nice job, Rick. <laughs> so that gives Bobby C the uh, first throw, which is pretty vital. Gives him a nice soft landing pad. <laughs> so not bad. <clears throat> See, the 30-footers have a little extra edge. Uh, they don't have to put as much force on the shoe because they have to throw it 10 feet less, which uh, a lot of times, not every time, John throws a pretty pretty straightforward shoe and right at the stake. <clears throat> but with that 10 feet short, shorter distance, it does come in just a little bit softer. That's a nice six-pack. So even though Bobby C had first throw, he now lost it. There's Rich walking around. He must be playing on pit two. <laughs> oh, that was a nice... Yeah, that... Challenger hook actually worked. Right back at you, boys. We got some kind of discussion. I had to go figure out what's going on and 
who's where. I might be talking to uh, Ken Posmer. <coughs> There's a good top ringer, nobody. <laughs> if we're not going to get any points, it's nice that uh, at least it's a a wash. Especially when John has a, a ringer on. Just making that round of wash is always always good. Slows their, slows down their little mojo. That uh, knocked Mike's shoe away quite a distance. There we go. Yep. <clears throat> can't make it can't make it easy on John. You leave John an open stake, he'll uh, he'll take you to the cleaners. As uh, as I always say, make him bleed. If you're gonna leave me an open stake, I'm gonna make you uh, make you pay for it. Be nice, John. Leave it alone. Let us get a point. There we go. There we go. I measure that. I think he's got a point in there. There you go. <clears throat> I saw it from all the way over here. If we would have uh, top ringered nobody, that that, that means the uh, Bud Shooters would have taken that first throw. There we go. Yeah, I was gonna say that looks like it's on. There we go. Oh, did that make it? I'm gonna try, Mike. Uh, uh, from the reaction, yeah, from the reaction, it didn't. <clears throat> I thought it was on the way John was giggling. Great shoes, Rick. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully it was. Got two more shoes coming at it. <clears throat> no, you got to hit it, John. Help us out. Be a bro. Okay, now we're digging. That's fine. Going first, even if it's a point. 
you're still moving down the board and you're still giving your partner first throw. The almighty first throw is all important. One thing Rick is usually usually good at if 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 he has a bad shoe. That's uh is that two in a row? <clears throat> Either way, um Rick's shoe is is uh more or less centered on the peg. And if he does throw he's not left and right a lot. He's more or less short and long. So he's just gotta get his forty feet. All right, that's a big jump. Don't lose that lead. Keep the pressure on. The kill zone. <clears throat> I think it was last year or the year before that. Uh, we needed a good name for uh, getting into uh, 15 points plus. And... Uh, at first, I didn't want to sound too aggressive, but uh, you definitely want to kill the game. Once, once you get at 15, you need those two ringers to kill it. And there you go. Oh, <laughs> darn it. So that's where I sort of settled in with the... Uh, Anything above 15 is is in the kill zone. That's two six packs for John in this game, I believe. Had one early and one uh, one later here. Hopefully, we don't see any more six packs from him. Hopefully, he's all done. Mike's still throwing them. <clears throat> that is a really solid ringer. Oh, ouch. Let's see if we can't correct this here. Close. Uh oh, 14 16. We had a uh, substantial lead and it's dwindled. And lost first throw here. <clears throat> so we, we shall see if uh, John's all out of six packs or he's got some still up his sleeve. So that sort of sort of answers my question since he doesn't have sleeves on. And like I said, we're in the kill zone, so Bobby C can end it. Oh is that twenty? Fourteen twenty. Keep them, keep them out of the kill zone. <clears throat> not not having them in the kill zone puts them at uh, needing three shoes to win compared to our one. When Bobby C was calling that very nice before just as soon as it left his hand so <clears throat> uh, we need another one just like that don't top it please don't top it right. and he does so the game continues Save it, Mike. Save it. Came in with an pitch. 
<laughs> yep. <clears throat> Are these the uh, kind of games you like, Malcolm? The 20-minute uh, matches? You can sort of look. you got uh, four and a half minutes left, and it's 14 to 20, so... Don't know if, what's going to happen. Just looking at the time, I don't think Bobby hits anything here. He gives away a point, maybe. Yep. That's sort of like cheating by looking at the time. So now we got four minutes left. No, John, stop it. We don't want to see a double. All right, there's one. One point. I don't think that looks like it's on. I don't think it is. There we go. Thank you. Thank you, Bobby C. So we need a ringer or a laner and we're done. No, oh, Rick. <clears throat> yeah. No. Okay, good, good, good. <clears throat> Still, either way, they're both in the kill zone, so it's just uh, two shoes is all it takes. Sort of a nail biter. Hopefully, Bobby C will uh, not let it happen. Uh oh. <clears throat> Could this be John's third double of the game? But that does give him four. He's sitting at 17, so four would win the game. So Bobby C's got to at least beat a point or top that ringer. And he does not beat the point, so he needs to top the ringer to keep alive. And he does. Clutch. Change his name from Bobby C to Clutch Cargo. <clears throat> We're not out of the woods yet, though. That um, Mike's got first throw, and all it needs is one one shoe from each team. Oh, so we just need a close point or a ringer. Oh, oh no. Come on, Rick. Yes. Great game, guys. As a nail biter of an ending. So thanks for watching. And hope we'll see you in game four.